Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to handle dialog box, alert box, message box and authentication box in TrueClient for web protocol. While creating performance scripts for the modern web applications, definitely you will face issues in identifying the objects uniquely, particularly if you are getting a alert box or message box or a in the launch screen, you will get the uh, authentication uh, screen. So this kind of uh, objects, it is very tough to handle during the scripting and also during load testing. So TrueClient for web has a built-in steps where you can configure the alert confirmation box, authentication box, so that you no need to spend time, um, your scripting effort on automating those steps okay so, so to understand to explain the concepts of each type of objects I just took a sample application so in the screen you could see there are three types of uh, javascript boxes so one is the alert box where it will display only the message to the user and second type is confirmation box where you will get two buttons at least okay cancel or abort, retry, so those kind of buttons you will would have noticed in the applications. And the third kind is uh, it will prompt the user to enter some information. For example, enter the enter your name, enter your date of birth, kind of information. And other kind of uh, objects where you could notice is uh, upon launching your application, it will prompt you to enter your uh, username and password so that it it will authenticate uh, uh, your credentials then based on your uh, username and password it will grant the access okay so this video I'm going to show you how to create steps to handle these boxes okay so we'll start with the first one so first one is I'm just clicking on this button Upon clicking, it will just display the message box with a, with some message. So in this case, it is displaying I am an alert box. The second type of button is, it will display the two buttons at least, OK and cancel. So based on the user input, the, uh, the output will be displayed accordingly. So if I press OK, it will press, it will display OK here. If I press cancel, it will display cancel here. And third type of JavaScript boxes uh, where it will prompt the user. So upon clicking on this button, it is prompting me to enter my name. So once you click on this OK button, it will display what I have entered in the previous screen. It will get display here. Okay. So now we will see how to handle these three different kinds of boxes in TrueClient. So very first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a generic browser action to invoke the URL. So in the location, I'm just adding double quotes on the, the actual URL and another double quote. So next step is to clicking on this button. So I'm going to add a generic object action and I'm going to select this object. And in the next step, I want to click on this OK button. I don't want to add this as an object. Okay, so instead what I can do is, I'm adding a generic browser action. Okay, now I'm clicking on this navigate and in the action, I'm going to select dialog prompt. So what it will do is it will just press OK in the prompt dialog. So now I'm replaying the script. So the, there are three steps as you see. The first step is to launch the application and second step is to click the alert box and third button, third step is to click on OK on the alert box. So this is how the, uh, the dialog box, the alert dialog will be handled in uh, using the uh, alert dialog step in true client 
okay so next button is uh, confirmation uh, box so where you will get uh, at least two buttons so upon clicking on this button you will get ok or cancel so based on your input uh, the respective message will be displaying here so now i'm going to delete these two steps and i'm going to add a generic object action where i'm clicking on this confirm box and the third step would be i'm adding the generic browser action and i'm going to change the dialog confirm the action is dialog confirm so here you could see there is a argument so by default it is uh, clicking on ok so now we will see uh, how this script is being handled by true client so again i'm executing the steps so this time it will click on the second confirmation and so now it clicked on ok so if you want to change for example i want to click on cancel so we can just select cancel here so this particular confirmation dialog will have only the two buttons ok and cancel so there is no need to uh, there is no way to specify the uh, other types of uh, buttons so if you want to edit just click here and change the value to abort okay this is how you customize so, but by default you'll get only two if you want to change to some other value you have to click on this edit in a dedicated editor and change the value here okay so you need to use the plain text value no need to use any double quotes so this button uh, arguments will be helpful if the dialog box if the uh, confirmation box which has uh, other than ok and cancel you can customize the text here okay now we will see about the third one which is alert box uh, where it will prompt the user to enter some values so now i am going to delete these two steps and i am going to add a generic object action where i am going to click on the prompt box and again i am going to add a generic browser action and i am selecting action as dialog prompt so here there are two arguments one is the value to be entered and the button to be clicked so in this case i am going to enter test and click on ok upon clicking it will display the whatever the value i entered in the prompt box it will display here so now i am going to run this scenario so this will click on the prompt box and it will enter the value test and it will click on okay it was pretty quick so i think we have to slow down so probably we can add some uh, wait statement so don't use wait unless it is required it's a bad way of programming so this for the example sake i am using wait statement otherwise you need to use uh, async okay so now you could see the value has been entered in the prompt box and clicked on ok so now we can test with some other value I'm running it again just to showcase whether it actually entered or not okay so here you could see the value testing 1 to 3 has been entered 
So similarly, you can change the step to prompt password. So if the, the prompt box is only the password, we can just select the prompt password and enter the password here. So that is for the password. Or if you want to uh, enter username and password both, so you can use dialog authenticate. So dialog authenticate will have uh, four arguments. One is the username, password, and domain, and the button. So this is uh, uh, this is useful when you are um, scripting the in-house applications, internet applications. So where you should enter the username, and username, and password to get the required access. Okay. So. So dialog category as five. So we have seen already all the five. So this will be very helpful uh, to quickly automate without any writing um, JavaScript by yourself. So just add the appropriate steps and configure the arguments. You are done. Okay. So this will make our scripting effort less so compared to previous uh, versions where you write some code snippets to handle those alert boxes, uh, confirmation boxes, authentication boxes, etc. So this will be very handy and helpful to everyone. So thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos and have a great day. Thank you.